Greetings HP Touchpad users. This is Reverend Kyle, your Minister of Mobile Devices. And today has been a very interesting day. Uh, earlier today, uh, early in the morning, there was a release of a CyanogenMod uh, CM9 Alpha 1. And that update gave us a fix for high def uh, video playback and YouTube HD playback. And that was all well and good, but uh, apparently Netflix was still not working. Uh, about five minutes ago, there was uh, another release. Uh, this is called Alpha 2. And apparently this now fixes the Netflix as well. So uh, very late breaking uh, information here. I'm very pleased to be able to bring this to you in a timely manner. Uh, what I have here on my touchpad currently is I do, uh, I did go ahead and update to the Alpha 1 from the, uh, I was running Classic Nerd and now I'm running Alpha 1, uh, but now I'm going to go in update to Alpha 2. So let me just give you a demonstration here real quick of what I've got. I'm going to go into ES File Explorer and I'm going to show you that uh, I do have, and I'll switch modes here, I do have on my, whoops, I do have on my, uh, the root of my tablet is I have Alpha 1 and I have Alpha 2. Uh, one thing that you do want to do is uh, you want to get rid of, and we'll come back to this, you want to get rid of the Classic Nerd if you're running that. If you're not running Classic Nerd, then don't worry about it. But I do want to show you that I've already downloaded the file and I've put it on here. Uh, those of you who are running Classic Nerd and are you're going to the Cyanogen Mod 9 Alpha 2 now, uh, you will also want to make sure that you have your GApps file uh, because after you reinstall CM9 on top of the Classic nerd you will have to reinstall your gapps file as well those of you who are going from cm9 previous version to cm9 alpha 2 will not have to reload your gapps uh, so just to make that clear all right so i have the file here let's go into clockwork recovery so i'm just going to reboot and go into recovery and hit ok Yes, I had numerous people asking me when I was going to have my Alpha 1 video done, and uh, <laughs> I had to change direction and wait on it for just a moment. Okay, so it's doing it on its own, going into Clockwork Mod. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into Install Zip from SD Card. And I'm going to choose the file, and it's down at the very bottom, or near the bottom, and it's called Alpha 2, full of bugs. And I will hit yes, and let it install. Yeah, I was actually completely done with my Alpha 1 video. Uh, it was all the way done, and I was uh, in the process of splicing it together for human consumption. And uh, I happened to... A little birdie told me that the IRC channel was all uh, Twitter with some information, and I checked it out, and now I get to bring this to you as well. So, happy accident that uh, I waited this long with my Alpha 1 video. I would have probably been a little disappointed to make the Alpha 1 video, only to have to go around and two hours later make an Alpha 2. So, good stuff. So once this is done, as usual, I'll go in and I will uh, clear out my cache and my Dalvik cache. There is some conjecture, some argument as to whether that's necessary. Uh, I, I personally do it just to be on the safe side. I'm going to go do that right now. So I'm going to wipe cache partition. And it only takes a moment. That's one of the reasons why I can't imagine not doing it. And my Dalvik cache. Okay. Go back and reboot. And we'll see what we get with Alpha 2. Now, again, just to stress this, some of you uh, might notice on my MoBoot screen that this is customized. I have a video to show you how to do that. You'll also notice that on my screen I have WebOS, CyanogenMod, ClockworkMod, Classic Nerd. 
Don't ask if you can do tri-boot or anything like that. No, you can't. I have to go in and remove that classic nerd or it will cause the Cyanogen mod to break. I can only do one or the other. If I go into classic nerd now instead of Cyanogen mod, the whole thing will be just broken. So don't do that. Make sure that you are choosing the correct one. Once I go back in to this new Alpha 2 Cyanogen mod, I'll show you how to get rid of uh, the classic nerd. It's relatively simple if you have ES File Explorer. So just to be clear, this is supposed to A, uh, fix HD YouTube videos, which Alpha 1 did that, but Alpha 2 will also have that. Uh, number two, it will uh, allow playback of uh, HD videos such as 720p and, and I would imagine some 1080p depending on the uh, codec and the compression of the said video. And uh, this is also supposed to fix Netflix. And so that's the one thing that uh, Alpha 2 is uh, really uh, focusing on. Uh, I do also have to say that uh, okay so just real quick right now what's doing is it's upgrading all of my uh, apps optimizing them for the new version while that's running I'll, I'll ramble here for a bit more the camera does not work let me repeat that the camera in in no version of Android will the camera work uh, period the camera does not work uh, the microphone it does not work. Uh, there were some earlier versions where it kind of worked, but it wasn't effective. So don't even ask. Uh, in terms of Wi-Fi, some of you are still having Wi-Fi issues. Your Wi-Fi issues are probably because your router's not set to be friendly with the touchpad. Uh, that's not a... I mean, there are some driver issues still, but it's not probably what's causing your issue. I highly recommend going into your router and playing with different settings and seeing if you can find one that works well. Uh, if you're convinced that it's not working, I recommend taking your touchpad to a public access point uh, or a friend's house and trying to connect to their Wi-Fi and see if you have any other better luck. Uh, on top of all of that, uh, sound issues where you turn it off and it sounds a little crackly. I don't know if that was touched on at all for this version, but uh, again, something to uh, realize that there was issues. So it's not just you and it's not something that I'm going to be able to answer for you as much as I would love to be able to. All right, so here we go. Uh, I do want to point out that I am overclocked to 1.5, which is kind of cool. Um, looks like everything worked out out well for me. I kept my background and all of that. And let's see here. Let's go into settings real quick. Go to about tablet. And uh, let's see here. Looks like I am on alpha. Two. All right. Fantastic. So let's take a look at what we have here now. Uh, let's see what this Alpha 2 is actually giving us uh, YouTube. Let's go into YouTube here. Okay, so let's just go in and go to uploads here and we'll just pick a random video here. Now normally we would have to turn HD off to get YouTube to play. However, works fine. HP touchpad users. Listen to that guy. Kyle, All right. Minister of mobile devices. Okay. YouTube. HD. Fantastic. Works great. All right. Let's see what else we can look at here. I'm going to go into MX Video Player, my video player of choice. I'm going to go into trailers. I have uh, two trailers here. One is Serenity. This is a 720p trailer. Let's see what happens here. I do want to point out that it is hardware, not software accelerated, which is fantastic. Okay, looks pretty smooth. Fantastic. Okay, let's look at a 1080p. Okay, well, it wasn't very long. Let me try this real quick here. There we go. Wow. 
Wow, I'll tell you what, looks pretty good. Sounds pretty good too. Okay, all right, now the big one. Let's go into, uh, let's see here, I need to go into the market. And I apologize, I haven't put Netflix on here. Okay, I have uh, Netflix installed and signed in. Let's go in and see what kind of playback capabilities we get. Okay, well, recognize the rotation. That's nice. Okay, so we were always able to get this far. Let's see. Ooh, sliders. All right, let's see what happens. Look at that. We have video, we have audio. Let's skip through a bit. Looks like it works. Looks like we have success. And I'm happy with that. And if you've never seen the show Sliders, I recommend watching it. It's great, at least for the first couple seasons. Okay, well, um, I, I think we're in good shape here. Um, I have to say that I'm really, uh, I'm pretty happy uh, that this came out so quickly. I want to say thanks to the developers and, and whatnot for uh, for handling this. Um, the one thing that I don't have an answer for actually right now is uh, I, I was under the impression that we'd be able to go into um, ES File Explorer and go into the root and then into the boot folder and get rid of the uimage classic nerd if we long hold on it and do delete and say okay uh, it tells me they cannot be deleted so unfortunately I don't have an answer for why we can't delete that right now uh, I'll have to come back to that uh, I'll post something in the uh, video description as soon as I figure that out but hey We've got Netflix, we've got HD video, we've got YouTube playing back. Fantastic. Uh, I recommend installing this. And uh, we'll see what magic occurs later on down the road, what kind of uh, wonderful things the developers come up with over the course of the next, uh, oh, I don't know, two weeks. So this has been Reverend Kyle showing you how to install and enjoy CyanogenMod 9 Alpha 2.